Hello everyone, Ramya, Assistant Professor of CSC Department from Rohini College of Engineering and Technology, Subject Code OEC 754, Unit 2, Topic PHPO2 PCO2 Colorimeter. Objective to understand the concepts of pH, PO2, PCO2 of blood measurement. First, we are going to see the pH. It is defined as the hydrogen ion concentration of a fluid. That means it is expressed logarithmically with the negative exponent of the hydrogen ion concentration pH equal to minus logarithmic of H+. plus. It is the measure of acid-base balance in a fluid. pH measurement. It is made up of a thin glass membrane and it allows only the hydrogen ions to pass through it. The glass electrode provides a membrane interface for H plus ions. For example, in order to minimize such effects, the electrodes are used with the screen. The screen is usually grounded to the measuring ins instrument. Suppose, error caused in pH measurement means what will happen due to temperature effect can be compensated either manually or automatically. Next one is PO2. Measurement. The term PO2 is defined as the partial pressure of oxygen respectively. The partial pressure of a gas is proportional to the quality of that gas present in the blood. There are two types of PO2 measurement. They are vitro measurement, vivo measurement. That means the partial pressure of oxygen in the blood is measured directly by electrode. That means if suppose if PO2 is increased, it is usually the result of excessive oxygen administration that needs to be adjusted downwards on such result. Suppose PO2 is decreased, what will happen? The result of any number of respiratory or cardiopulmonary problems will occur. The PO2 electrode system uses principles similar to those for pH measurement. That means this voltage attracts oxygen molecules to the cathode surface where they react with water. PCO2 measurement. This value is measured directly by the CO2 electrode. The normal arterial PCO2 is 40 mm Hg. The here it can be expressed as PCO2 equal to barometric pressure minus water vapor pressure into 100% CO2 divided by 100. That means all blood gas analysis such as PCO2 electrode. Here we have two differences. That means the first difference is that in this electrode, the blood sample comes in contact with your CO2 preamble membrane such as Teflon, silicon rubber. Then the next one is pH sensitive glass as in pH electrode. Next one is colorimeter. A colorimeter determination is one that involves the measurement of color in the visual region of the electromagnetic spectrum that is 400 to 700 nm. It is normally a liquid that means the sample compartment of a colorimeter is provided with a holder to contain the cavity in which the liquid is examined. The principle of colorimeter. Blood serum is a complex fluid that contains numerous substances in solution. In colorimeter, the sample is normally a liquid. This principle gives that the chemical compounds in solution appear colored with the saturation of the color depending on the concentration of the compound. The way in which the light observation can be cast to determine the concentration of the substance is shown in the following figure. First, we are going to see light of an appropriate color or wavelength is obtained from a lump through the filter F. Here, the first light being observed in the solution that light leaving the cavity with a lower intensity I1, the relation of I0 and I1 gives the transmitters T1. That means T equal to I1 divided by I0 into 100 percentage. In the second cavity, what will happen? The same solution were brought into the liquid path behind the first cavity. So, the light intensity I2 behind the second cavity is I2 equal to T square or I, I0. Otherwise, you can able to return as I2 equal to T I1. The light transmitted through successive cavities decreases in the same manner. The observance or optical density A can be transmitted as A equal to log 1 by T. Then the total observance of the two cavities is the sum of the individual observances. Then only you will get the amount of the light observed depends only on the number of molecules of the observing substances that can interact with the light.
Here we have one formula that is Beer's law. That means the amount of light absorbed by a colored solution is directly proportional to the concentration of substances in the colored solution. A equal to ACL. L represents path length of the cavity. C represents concentration of the absorbing substance. A represents absorbity. Next one is filter photometer. A colorimeter or filter photometer is used for measuring transmittance. And absorbance of solutions. Here the following figure shows the principle of a colorimeter. That means here F selects the suitable wavelength raw large from the light of a lamp. Next one is flame photometer. It is used to determine the concentration of sodium, potassium and calcium. Here lithium is used as a calibration substance in the analysis. That means a colorless flame appears yellow for sodium violet for potassium and their solution are disappeared into the flame. It is also used in the analysis of blood or urine. Last one is spectrophotometer. It is used to measure a light beam intensity as a function of its color. It also allows the determination of a observation of samples at various wavelength. In spectrophotometer, the symbol selection filter of the color colorimeter is replaced by a monochromator. And the following possible questions you will get from this topic. How does the pH value determines the acidity or alkalinity in blood fluid? Define pH. What are the applications flame photometer? With suitable figures explain how pH, PCO2 and PO2 are measured.